Out on the pitch, not got all that. It's an edge to Gully, it's gone. Nowhere near the middle of the bat, and the first shot in anger. And they lose their first wicket. Mid on, up in the ring. That's where he was looking to go up and over, try and target that gap. Find the boundary. Goes up and over. That is excellent from Cracknell. He is a serious hitter of a ball, as he has shown there. First six of the evening. Just a slight bit of flight this time, maybe a bit of pace off the ball. Managed to just exploit that mid-off up in the ring, held his shape. It's an easy single to them if they want. It's picked up leg side, that will go away for six all the way. So already two sixes. The leg side. She picked that off, probably middle and off. And length was there to get up and underneath it. Is this a crowd catch? That's right off the middle of the bat. You could hear that right out the screws. Let's have a look at how good his hands are through the ball. Bottom hand doesn't come through too much. Nice natural swing. Oh, that's sharp, and it's flown away. That's a good bouncer, but he got nothing for it, a boundary. Choosing to go for the short option, changed his field, put two out on the leg side instead of one. And Cracknell just rushed, really. Slow ball. There's a man out there. Should go straight to him. That was the field change. Good captaincy from Jordan. Good change up from Worrell, the slower ball after the bouncer. Made a few changes in the field. He's picked up the wicket of the dangerous Cracknell as well. Didn't get all of this. Get it to the longer side as well. That fielder can't get round. That's beautifully played. With the extra pace and this oval pitch, it's just guided for four. Simpson really hasn't tried to generate any sort of power. He's just used the pace and Nip short third on the outside post, so... Reckon around 30,000. Eve leg side. Needs some boundaries, found one. Not quite the middle of the bat, but handy. Middlesex's best boundary hitters tend to come at the top of the order. Eskenazi, Cracknell, Simpson. Heave, big heave and gets lucky. He's had a pretty good tournament over the last couple of years, Eskenazi. Just needs a little bit of luck to get going there. And trying to just pick up length to the leg side. And the top edge flies over the wicketkeeper. The only unbeaten team in the blast. I can't find the gap, but will be run out. A complete misunderstanding. Pressure was building. Boundaries weren't coming. Fielding has been good, bowling has been excellent. And he's going to have to go. He'll be desperately disappointed. You can see from his reaction, he was just trying to set the innings up to walk off. Well, he isn't happy because he, he feels that Simpson just didn't respond at all. And real confusion. And Eskenazi would see this as a stage okay. to express himself. Lovely shot. Just a little over pitch, that's all. And seized on. And that's a good strong shot from Simpson down the ground. So two left-handers in the middle. Handy start, though. Just helped on its way. Good improvisation. Yeah, lovely from Jack Davies. A little bit of a leg cutter and helped to the leg side. Excellent batting. Very, very good. Not intimidated at all. Ten runs from the over with a ball to go. Well, I wasn't always in control of that, but either way, it's a boundary for Simpson. Oh, high up on the bat. Should be taken and is a comfortable catch for Jamie Overton. And Simpson looking to go big down the ground, doesn't get all of it. He's on his way back to the pavilion. Yeah, Chris Jordan running his fingers over it, digging it in. 
Jamie Overton, safe pair of vans, was never going to drop it. Very happy with that. Ariel should go all the way and does. And Holman not able to get the timing he wants. Another maximum, though, for Middlesex. Good fast hands by Holman. And the Rhine down there just watched it, didn't he? Just watched it, nothing he could do about it. Quick hands. And this time again, thick outside edge. Again, not intentional. Hundreds just come up. We've got back to back boundaries. Oh, Risty, but straight to short third. And now Ryan has been economical and now he's in the wicket. That's a brilliant shot from Holman. Hard sweep, manages to pierce the two fielders out on the leg side boundary. He's got all of it. Still manages to find the boundary though, despairing dive. Gus Atkinson. That will help matters, a top edge that has flown over the keeper. There's been a bit of pace in this pitch here this evening. His skin falls the next morning. Gone! Trying to clear mid-off and failing. Chris Green goes to the safe hands of Chris Jordan. It's a wicket for Gus Atkinson, Middlesex, six down. Prize boy, he'll be sitting back waiting for the short ball. And it was the fuller delivery. Clever bowling. We've seen this from Surrey this evening. Short ball, short ball. Fort, it's run away. It's a slightly shorter side to the offside that Anderson is hitting to, so it ends the 16th with a boundary. 132 for six. Full crowd here. Go and show, go and express yourselves. <laughs> Karen Pollard. Rather went down in instalments there. He's not quite at the Chris Gale stage. And that is often the result. He is a top class T20 performer. And he's far too good for Martin Anderson, who has run past one. When you bat 8, 9, 10, Jack, you can't quite pick him. You don't know which way it's going. Get it away behind square and to the fence. Pope cannot cut it off. 150 up. Slower ball that is clubbed away straight to long on. Will Jacks takes a comfortable catch. And that ends both Luke Holman's innings. Now, just can't quite get the line right. The length is what he's searching for. He's searching for a little bit of swing, but it's swinging onto the middle of the bat. Yeah, too straight. Lovely shot down the ground. Again, searching for that swing and getting punished. Well, that time the line was a lot better. Deep square. So lots of gaps on the offside. And that is why he tried to stay leg side, Smith, and he gets a little lucky. And a new white ball, isn't it? So it, it will skid on. It's off spin because it skids on anything that left the right hand it almost like an arm ball an undercutter if anything is undercutting it with a pace there it is good example it's excellent batting it's just good awareness not a lot of turn and he knows there's a big gap he gets it through he gets his boundary just presses onto his front foot and then rocks off that the key there is finding the gap Again, wonderful batting, wonderful batting. Great use of the feet, but again, open face offside. Aerial route, but don't over hit and lose your shape. And he didn't lose his shape at any stage. This is very good from Smith. Oh, picked out, picked out the man in the deep. What a field change, what a catch. What a moment in the game, brilliant bit of captaincy. He just made the change. Just moved him out, literally that ball, go out there, and I reckon he will chip it to you very next delivery. He does. 
good captaincy, backed up by the bowler. Relatively easy catch for the field. Finds its way through, finds its way through somehow. Luck going with Ollie Pope and Surrey at the moment. 33 for one from three. Picked up leg side, fine leg up in the ring, so full reward. Ah, not quite got the line and length right in the early stages. But not a lot in between. Powered, wonderful shot. Seen some wonderful shots uh, early on in this innings, perhaps none better than that from Will Jacks. Well, that's quite a long way back in that direction as well. That didn't just sneak over the boundary. It's gone, it's disappeared. And Will Jacks is almost running at you, he's almost body weight. Up and over this time. <laughs> No one in the deep, so it was really just a matter of whether it was going for four or six. But in doing so, he's a little too full, and they haven't missed out on anything too full. It's gone up a long way, and has gone a long way. Just picked up and dumped in the stand. Too straight, too full, too good from Jax. Going down the ground, hasn't got enough of it, and Berendorf takes the catch. Good catch. And that is an important wicket for Middlesex. Luke Holman, who has given them much-needed breakthrough. Yeah, he just he kept flighting it, kept it up there. Will Jax trying to go downtown. Holding up to bird off at long off. Kind of lithe and wristy, but he's not. He's quite powerfully built. Driving the ball into the surface. It's a little short and pulled away by Laurie Evans into the leg side. Sounded good. No, not enough. It's Luke Holman, who is in the game, runs a wicket, and now a catch out at long off. No, a big crowd. Laurie Evans advanced down the wicket, trying to hit him over long off. Good safe pair of hands by Holman. Oh, it's bounce, and it's got a fine edge. Pass Simpson is a little short from Chris Green. He goes straight down the ground, he's managed to get all of that as well, Narayan. A bit of it from Holman, and punished. And as I say, will just get, create the wicket-taking potential for Middlesex, but not if it keeps going. That's an excellent piece of timing from Ollie Pope, just a good cricket shot. We're so used to seeing now from him, he moves on. To 35, 130 for three. 42 balls. And they've got time on their side, and the Ryan is keen to finish it quickly. Offside field was up, and went up and over. And this has been skied. I think it will go all the way. Again, not where he wanted it, but similar outcome. Just. Well, it goes again, does get all of it as well. Narine is motoring along, 4-6-6. Six, six. He moves on to 41 of 24 bit balls. Just enjoying the fact that uh, the ball is pitched up, it's the odd slower ball as well, and he loves it there. Just 10 required now. Hit all the way, he goes for six. It's been Sunil Narayan's evening, ends with a half century. Wickets, runs, and the winning side. Exactly what you want from your overseas pro. Surrey continue on their unbeaten run.